Well, 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 it's finally time for the showcase of Violet post buff. Is he way too good? I'll answer that question in a minute. So he has 15 skill ups and my god, he's so annoying with all that evasion. Straight off the gate, the evasion is there. He is counter-attacking your face constantly. I'm seeing him getting picked early on multiple times. I fought against him. I've used him. You know, I have him on speed hit set. An immunity set would be good, but I'm using Desert Joe Bazaar to push him. He gets immunity and I, my plan is to go first. That's the stats of the other heroes I brought along with him. And my playstyle is different compared to a lot of other players, which might have him on like Remnant Violet's gear. Like lifesteal immunity something like that but i decided to go with uh, speed hit i want to land a tag break whenever i can with the skill number one but my battles are not that long if you have him on a lifesteal set if you have him like pretty tanky he can stay in play for much longer and he can definitely be your soul damage dealer and he will pack a punch he will be super annoying throughout the battle. He will be getting so much ba uh, damage throughout the battle because of all those sweet counter attacks. The attack break is cool. The fact that he gets 15% combat units every time he counter attacks is very powerful. It allows him to, you know, cycle faster. When he eats the apple, like right now, he gets this perception buff, which gives him 15% crit chance and 15% crit damage. So that is a lot of stats right there. Uh, I could have him with less crit chance, so I might, uh, you know, fine tune his gear later on. I'd like to have him on an immunity set, that'd be pretty solid as well. And as you can see, he's just counter attacking and counter attacking. You can definitely support him with, you know, a bunch of different heroes. You can have Aureus, you can have Defense Buff. You can have, let's say, a Troublemaker Crozet if you want to push it even further. And, uh, you know, if they attack Violet, that means that's Troublemaker Crozet potentially counter-attacking, stunning them. Violet counter-attacking, putting a tag break or just straight up just dealing a bunch of damage. He's getting more focus when he uh, counter-attacks with skill 1. He gets combat units as well. So not only he's cycling faster, he is building that focus faster. And when he eats the apple, he gets focus. And he's going to be able to just use the skill 3 more often. And when you use skill 3 full focus, you reset the skill number 3. So you can just do it again. And the multiplier is quite high. It's actually much higher when you are maxed out in focus. So if Moonlight Dreamblade triggers, you get attack buff. And then boom, you use skill number 3. If you do have the focus or maybe you eat the apple to build uh, focus. And uh, let me tell you, like he's really tough to take out. And he's just a constant threat on the board, reminding me of Seaside Bellona. Talking about Seaside Bellona, he's actually really powerful versus her. I've used him a few times versus Seaside Bellona, and he can definitely deal with her. You know, when she counterattacks with the S2, it's an evasion, it's an attack buff, and then it sets him up nicely for blowing her up, you know. So, very powerful. I definitely want to pick him. I mean, I've been picking him near the end of the picking phase because I don't want them to counter, at, uh, you know, counter pick. So I've picked him early on. And what happened is that some players just straight up brought like two fire heroes against me. And uh, yeah, I decided to pick Seaside Bellona at the end. And they, of course, they banned Seaside Bellona and it didn't go too well. So you got to be careful and not pick him too early on. Of course, he's very powerful. And when you have a very powerful hero... Uh, that you can pick early on you, you kind of want to do it because maybe you think the opponent will pick him if you don't so yeah it, it, it might be rough right but you can definitely support him with multiple layers of protection and keep him alive and he can definitely do his job properly now if the enemy doesn't have a bunch of AOE attacks to trigger his counter attacks then they can maybe ignore him so I like to have him on high offensive power so he can definitely pack a punch even if they ignore him and have enough speed so he can cycle faster and just keep putting you know threat like being a threat on the board constant pressure against the enemy and it's been working out just fine 
uh, with me. But you can definitely have him in a really thick team, right? And you could be bringing revive, uh, healing, defense buff, Aureus, adamant shield, things like that to really keep him longer in play. And as the frenzy will build up, it's gonna be easier for you to land your attack break if you don't have much effectiveness. And uh, he will definitely perform well uh, for you, unless you're fighting, you know, a bunch of fire heroes. Of course, that wouldn't go too well. But uh, my experience has been good with him. A bit hard to fit him in my uh, high speed, high offense play style, of course. But I did manage to get a few uh, good or decent battles for you guys. So yeah, he is way too good after the buff, in my opinion. You know, when you have players pick him, picking him up. Uh, early on in the picking phase it tells you something and then you start fighting him and you see that his performance is is really good much better now because he's always a threat you open the battle and he can just start counter attacking you and uh, when he evades that means you are you're only dealing 70 percent of your damage versus him if you're looking for an emulator or a new phone check the description of the video so violet with the 35 percent evasion that he has plus moonlight dream blade you know, like 55% evasion and then if you are fighting ice heroes they have a 50% chance of missing you already so it adds up and they will be missing him constantly which is going to be an easy attack buff for him and he's going to be self-sufficient because of that you don't even need to bring an attack buffer with him unless you have you want to go first you, you have high speed you're using a combat unit booster i'm using rose i like to use her she has aureus she brings a very powerful barrier you know, that scales off of her defense. If you want to be even more annoying, you can fit him in a team with other evasion-based heroes. You could have him with, uh, you know, other counter-attack heroes. And it's going to make up for a so, so annoying team to fight against. If the enemy is trying to cleave you, I mean, one of your hero is bound to evade, I guess. I mean, I, you cannot be sure that it will happen, but... If you have more than one, you have a better chance of actually evading. You definitely want to pick Violet near the end because heroes that don't trigger counterattack, like Spectre Denebria, Landy, they're hiding in the shadows. You cannot target them with your single target attack. Be mindful of that. Fire heroes. Carrot, Ravi, Charlotte, Kron. I definitely want to try Violet in Guild War and I will keep my gear on him because I want to try him again in RTA and uh, yeah stay tuned for those videos guys let us know what you guys think about Violet have you been using him have you fought him how annoying is he like he, he's he's really annoying guys anyways if you enjoyed the video don't forget to smash that like button I'm Ash Knight. good luck with all you do peace out for now